Even if one expends considerable effort in assisting someone, it becomes futile if the individual lacks the desire for change. Epicus contended that our emotions are shaped more by our reactions to events than the events themselves. While your inclination to lend a helping hand is commendable, it's crucial to recognize that well-intentioned efforts may yield no results if the person isn't receptive to change, irrespective of the support offered. Before investing energy in seemingly unsolvable situations, stay tuned as this video will provide guidance on recognizing signs that you might be attempting to open a locked door. The discussion will encompass nine types of individuals who, for various reasons, may resist accepting help and often navigate their challenges alone. Subscribe to our channel to ensure you don't miss valuable content. Before delving into the content, confirm your subscription, like the video, and share your thoughts in the comments section to help us reach more viewers. Let's commence with the first type of person who may be challenging to assist, those who construct false realities. In the core of the human experience, some individuals delve into realms of falsehood, constructing alternate realities for themselves. These individuals cling to illusion as truth, weaving a fabric of deception to clothe their lives. This imaginative fabrication acts as both a haven and a cage, where the true state of affairs is continuously reshaped to align with personal hopes and whims. It is a nuanced and hazardous waltz with actuality and engaging with such souls poses a daunting task as they have constructed robust mental barriers. Attempting to enlighten them with reality may prove challenging, as they often manipulate facts to conform to their accepted fiction. Genuine transformation is only possible if they concede errors in their logic, a process that typically requires the aid of a seasoned psychological professional. This mirrors dynamics in present-day political discourse, where people hold fast to their doctrines, ignoring rational errors. The second type encompasses opportunists who may misinterpret empathy as an opportunity for exploitation. The Stoics valued the art of seeing the world through the lens of empathy, embracing others' feelings with an open heart. However, some twist this concept, perceiving it as an opening for exploitation. It is crucial to distinguish genuine friends from feigned allies by observing their actions. A faithful friend seeks support in true times of need displaying mutual respect and care, whereas exploiters exhibit a consistent pattern of requests and favors, often for trivial situations. It is essential to couple the heart's generosity with the mind's caution, ensuring compassion is directed towards those who value and reciprocate it. The third type encompasses the self-absorbed individuals so immersed in themselves that they believe the universe revolves around them. This self-worship is a puzzling and draining trait of human nature. While sharing frustrations or joys, the self-centered person tends to diminish others' experiences, dwelling in the delusion that each event, each whisper of fate, revolves around them. This behavior can be likened to emotional vampirism, where one's energy and joy are drained to satiate the insatiable void of the self-absorbed individual's needs and dramas. In dealing with such individuals, it is crucial to consider whether it's worth staying by someone so engrossed in themselves. It is vital to understand that regardless of how committed one is to aiding someone on the path of self-improvement, if the person is resistant to change, they are likely to remain static in their habits. Similarly, if one is on a path of personal growth and those around them drown them in negativity, it can impede progress. In some situations, Wisdom lies in knowing when to shield oneself and possibly distance from those whose presence no longer enriches emotional well-being. Emotional self-defense is not just an option, but a necessary strategy for psychological survival. The fourth type involves individuals who don't acknowledge their flaws, refusing to take responsibility for their actions, and lacking self-criticism and humility. The Stoics emphasized self-criticism and humility as crucial for personal development urging individuals to confront their own shortcomings with equanimity. However, some individuals consistently shift blame to external factors or circumstances, neglecting personal accountability. To assist someone stuck in this loop of shirking responsibility, Stoic wisdom suggests encouraging honest self-assessment, urging them to understand what is within their control, their own actions, reactions, and judgments. 
while offering support and perspective, it's essential to acknowledge that each individual must be willing to undertake the journey of self-discovery. Change must come from within, and sometimes, learning from one's own experiences is the most profound lesson. The fifth point raises concerns about those who don't prepare for the future, living in a perpetual state of contentment with the present. Stoic principles value living in the present, while acknowledging the necessity of readying oneself for the future through mindful actions. Encouraging someone to plan for the future doesn't deny anxiety or difficult emotions, but recognizes the importance of future readiness as an extension of focus and dedication applied to the present. Stoicism teaches that potential should be recognized and harnessed individually. Each person must be capable of recognizing and utilizing their abilities. While encouraging and supporting others in their growth, it's crucial to respect personal choices regarding planning for the future. The sixth profile delves into the common quandary of battling chronic pessimism. Stoics consider such an attitude counterproductive as they advocate fostering a resilient mindset in the face of adversity. The key to inner peace, according to Stoic philosophy, is realizing we can control our reactions to external events. In dealing with individuals mired in pessimism, Stoic wisdom suggests offering support while safeguarding oneself against being engulfed by negativity. While empathy is a virtue, one cannot impose change upon others. Each person must desire transformation for themselves. Stoics teach us to invest energy where it can have a positive impact, sometimes preserving our well-being rather than attempting to alter someone's outlook continually. The seventh profile addresses those who absolve themselves from blame, consistently shifting blame to external factors or others. Stoics believed in personal accountability and the power to choose how we interpret and respond to events. Self-examination and self-criticism are crucial for character development and living a meaningful life. To assist someone avoiding responsibility, Stoic wisdom suggests encouraging honest self-assessment and understanding what is within their control. However, change must come from within, and individuals must be willing to undertake this journey of self-discovery. Stoics acknowledge that each person's journey is personal, and we do not control other people's actions, only our own. The eighth profile deals with individuals who expect unearned privilege, contradicting Stoic principles of work ethic and self-development. Stoics teach that an individual's worth comes from personal virtues, not innate privileges. To deal with such individuals, Stoic approach involves being an example of moderation and virtue-focused living, demonstrating through actions the value of work and fair contribution. It may also involve encouraging reflection on concepts of merit and justice, challenging them to consider what they truly deserve based on actions, not desires or expectations. Stoics advise avoiding negative emotional reactions to ingratitude or a sense of privilege in others, keeping in mind that everyone acts according to their understanding. The ninth profile addresses individuals resistant to learning and change, considered significant barriers to moral and intellectual progress by the Stoics. Wisdom is viewed as an ongoing process of personal development in Stoic philosophy, encouraging internal reflection honest self-assessment, and a willingness to adapt and learn from experiences. Stoic approach to dealing with those resistant to learning and change involves leading by example through one's behavior, practicing empathy, and approaching discussions about change in a way that respects their perspective. Stoics recognize that there are things beyond our control, including attitudes and choices of others. It may be appropriate to accept that some people may need to come to knowledge and willingness to change on their own paths and timelines. This doesn't mean giving up on them, but respecting their journey and being available to assist when they are open to change. Worry less about convincing others to change, and more about being an example of positive change, as a good Stoic might say.